Where are you at now? Are you already like through the slumbering wield? You're already like I'm at Zacian. You're battling Zacian already. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to be. A few minutes later. Wait a minute, are you doing sword or shield? I'm doing sword, right? I'm doing sword. Oh. Um. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Ah. Uh... I forgot. I'm doing shield. I'm doing shield, right? You said Zacian, and I was like, wait. Hold on. Let me go grab my copy of Shield and switch it up quickly. That was my bad, yeah. Because I remember saying it, but I couldn't get a copy of it. Well, maybe I'll be caught up by that time he gets back. Boys, girls, cats, girls, what is going on? My name is Slice Salty, and welcome to a brand new series here on my channel and the other channel you're seeing this on. But let me introduce you to Rival Roki. Introduce yourself, man. Hey yo, what is up guys? Rival Roki here and yeah, we are joining Slightly Salty today for a brand new series on both of our channels. Yeah, episode one is going to be on both our channels and we'll explain the upload schedule in a little bit. But first, this is a Pokemon Sword and Shield Hardcore Surprise Lock, uh, Cage Lock. Let's explain the rules. So first up, I'm going to take care of the Hardcore Nuzlocke rules. Let me explain this stuff. So... Yeah, you do that. I need to get my rules up, actually, while you're doing I that. I just had to pull it up real <laughs> quick. Uh, but rule number one, pretty self-explanatory. We can only catch a first Pokemon we encounter in an area. So each area, first encounter, that's what we're allowed to catch. Doesn't really matter who we catch because it's going to be traded off. Rule number two, we must nickname every Pokemon we catch. Classic Nuzlocke rule. Rule number three, if a Pokemon faints, it is considered dead and must be boxed or released. It can't be used the rest of the playthrough. It's all that matters. Whether you want to box it, release it. I like boxing it. Memories to look back on later on. But if Roki chooses to release it, he releases it. Either way, can't be nah, used. I'm keeping them. Always got to keep them. Rule number four. Got to, man. We cannot use any items in battle. However, held items can be used if you win a cage match. We'll explain that a bit more in the cage match rules. But pretty much, no items in battle. So, there's no healing. There's no status healing. Nothing. The only item that we can use in battle is obviously Pokeballs. We do need to catch some things. Rule number five, we must play in the set battle style instead of switch. There's no more, oh, this person's sending out this Pokemon. Would you like to switch? Sorry, I can't. We're playing set, baby. Rule number six, we cannot over level our Pokemon. Our Pokemon cannot be a higher level than the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon. Gym one, his highest level is level 20. We're not going past that. It's either got to be 20 or below. If a Pokemon does go above level 20, they can no longer be used until you beat that gym. Rule number seven. We wrote it as rule number eight, but rule number seven, dupes and species Oopsies. clause <laughs> is not optional. It is enforced. You are not allowed to catch duplicate type Pokemon. I mean, well, well we can catch duplicate type Pokemon, but we can't keep it if surprise traded because like, we're surprise trading everything, which we're going to talk about in a second. So we can catch duplicate Pokemon and duplicate species. But if we surprise trade it and we get something back that is something we currently have, then we can't keep it. Uh, cool. And so I think that brings us into the surprise lock rules then. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So first one is we must surprise trade every single Pokemon that we catch. And that doesn't matter where we catch it. We have to surprise trade it. The moment that we're able to. Which is after uh, we get the Dynamax Band. Correct, correct. So it's not going to be right away. So we're going to have to hold on to our starter for like a little bit and whatever else we catch. But as soon as we get that, we'll pretty much be good to go from there. Um, rule number two is... I lost my place here. <laughs> um, Are you good? Sorry. Well, if you pull up, uh, if you pull up our Discord, right? I see it now. I see it now. Yeah, I see it here. So, if a Pokemon is over our level cap, we have to retrade it. Now, there is an exception with that. Shiny Pokemon and Legendary Pokemon can be kept regardless of the level, as long as they're legal Pokemon. There's a lot of, you know, they could be Gen or something like that. If they're not legal, we can't use them. Um, and then we are allowed two Wild Encounters per Gym Badge. Now, that includes wild encounters and dens as well. So, yeah, I think that's all for those. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much a surprise lock. Pretty much after every gym battle, we'll be able to go back to the wild area and get two more Pokemon. So, the cage match rules here are going to be as following. 
Rule number one, after every gym, we will have a 3v3 cage match. The winner is allowed to put a perk on all of the Pokemon that survived the cage match. However, the loser has to lose one of their Pokemon chosen by the winner themselves. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So pretty much it's different than a regular cage lock. It's not just 1v1s. It's 3v3s. Every Pokemon that's left remaining alive at the end. So if I win 2-0, both Pokemon get a perk um, as yes. well. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah. The winner, yes, so... the winner gets to select one of the loser's Pokemons to be dead, boxed, or released. Yep. Cool. So rule number two. Uh, actually, yeah, we don't even need to say rule number two here. So the perks include held items, TMs, revive, or retrade where the winner may also choose to surprise trade one of their surviving Pokemon. However, that Pokemon that they surprise trade in does not get any perks. So that does count as your perk for that Pokemon. Yeah. So pretty much if, then... we, if we want to bring like one of our Pokemon into the cage match because we think we can win it with our other two, we can do that and then surprise trade that third Pokemon provided it is alive at the end of the cage match. All right, so once a Pokemon has three perks on it, we can no longer bring it into the cage match until the final fight. And the final fight is going to be a 6v6 to determine the winner of the entire series. So basically, we're not really keeping track of like points or anything. I mean, we are keeping track of points, but it's not like, hey, I had six cage match wins, I win the series. None of that matters. It's really just to build up your perks and to get yourself like more set up for that final fight. Yeah, you wanna to try to get the best possible team going into that final fight. If you have all the perks and your rival doesn't have all the perks, it's gonna be a good luck to try to win that final fight. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, the more perks you have, the easier those final fights are gonna be for you. Exactly. Also, I just realized I've been sitting on the couch here for like a solid like two or three minutes. <laughs> I'm at the stars. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, I'm gonna hold off. Holy crap, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. I was like, I got caught up in like conversation and going over my part of the rules. Uh, was, no problem. It was, you know, I'm like hardcore ADHD, so I'm like one track <laughs> mind sometimes. Uh, no problem whatsoever. And either way, the fourth <laughs> final rule that you, we pretty much discussed it already. The final fight will be a 6v6 to decide the winner of the series. We literally just said that the final fight's the only battle that matters, and my cat just jotted across my desk. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I heard it. Yo, cat, what is with cats and always having, like, straight-up zoomies? <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, so that's oh pretty gosh. much it for the rules. Hardcore surprise lock, cage lock. It's gonna be... Oh, yeah. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a brutal fight, a brutal battle, nuzlocke, and just fighting each other in these battles but now let's talk about the schedule you guys are probably absolutely wondering it how often is a series gonna be on whose channel what day this series let them know salty let me tell you this series is gonna be <laughs> four times a week that's absolutely correct four times a week four episodes every week two on each channel now i'm gonna be taking mondays and thursdays and roki here is gonna be taking tuesdays and fridays so that means you get an episode of this monday tuesday thursday and friday every week make sure you're subbed to both channels to catch every single episode that's a lot of content i mean that's almost like a full-on like tv show at that rate oh absolutely it's more than a tv show tv shows are only once a week it really is dude and it's exciting because i mean this is a this is a pretty like crazy series honestly we got a lot going on we got the hardcore we got the surprise lock you know there's no idea what we're gonna get you know we could get we could be getting like some awesome like great pokemon that are you know like we were talking earlier we could be getting some great breed checks or we could be getting like some squavets that are like from route two precisely we, we're getting anything from just somebody just starting their game to competitively viable pokemon that is like missing a stat or is the wrong nature Mm. man yeah it could be pretty like detrimental for those cage matches too absolutely because if i'm here rolling in with a squill vet from route one and you're here running with a completely viable liberal score bunny yeah i'm screwed <laughs> he's gonna i mean not even that though it could be like I, I don't know i'm trying to think of something crazy here like like a like a volcanion or something oh absolutely it's like a level five volcanion somehow yeah and 
back what we were talking about before like when we when we said illegal like if there was a gen pokemon that was surprise traded to us that's fine it's just a matter of it's gotta have legal moves generally pokemon does do a really good job at like checking the pokemon that are being traded and if you're trading a completely illegal mon it gets like banned um but like if we somehow get like a freaking ev and it's got every single move that it shouldn't get well, we're not using that. We're gonna either dispose it or retrade it. Probably just dispose it and like we're just gonna release it, catch a new Pokemon to retrade because we don't want to trade it and then potentially get banned ourselves. So, yeah, exactly. So pretty much anything that's illegal, we're not using. If it is a Gen Pokemon, like we don't know what's Gen and what's not. Like some person out there, Greg out there in Wisconsin can literally just gen a Pokemon trade it to us and we have no clue that it's gen. So, it, we're gonna use gen Pokemon, yeah. but like, obviously it's gen Pokemon that has to be surprise traded to us. They have to be completely legal. Move set, abilities, everything must be legal. Exactly. I mean, you can pretty clearly tell like when a Pokemon's legal or not. Exactly. You can tell if you're out here with a Sobble with Blaze Kick. Uh, something's up. Something's up. Something's definitely up there. Speaking of Savo, we are finally at the starters. I feel like like we were just having this conversation. I've just been like spamming my buttons the entire time, halfway in gamer position, just like, I gotta get to the starters, gotta get to the starters. So what are you thinking about grabbing yourself here? So like the Pokemon um, that you grab doesn't really mean anything. It's gonna be what your opponent gets. And if I'm not mistaken, your opponent, does he take the Pokemon? No, he takes the Pokemon that's weak to you. Yeah, he takes one that's weak to you, and then Leon takes the other one for the Elite Four. Exactly. So it's like, what do you want to deal with here? I'm trying to think about it. I'm like, do I want to take Score Bunny? That way he gets Grookey, which has uh, Grookey, which has the most weaknesses. I'm like, mmm. I feel like, I don't know. I always go Score Bunny personally, just because like it's my fa like clear favorite of the three. Same. But... I don't know. I mean, that is really tough because it's one of those things like you're thinking more for like late game at this point, like which one's going to be more viable for the late game or is, which one's going to be like less vi or more viable to take out, I guess. Exactly. I think I'm getting rid of score bunny. Uh, that's whoa. I accidentally just hit the boat home button. Um, that's the exact same thing that I just did. I took the score bunny. Um, I don't want to deal with that late game. Yeah. Yeah, I think Score Bunny, like, honestly just has the most potential throughout the game, so... Absolutely. And now he's gonna take so, Grookey. That's fine by me. So here's something to think about here with the nickname. So we have to nickname all of these that we're trading away. But we also have to go to, like, the Name Raider to go and trade... Oh, to, like, nickname our Pokemon again. Yeah, that's true. And if they're different, like... If they're different, um... What's it called? Oh, uh, like if they're different regions, we can't rename them. Yeah, different region, we can't name them. I just realized that. So I guess at that rate, like I mean, it just kind of is what it is. Yeah, it is what know? it is. If we can't nickname it, we can't nickname it. Hopefully, if we do get a different region Pokemon, they nicknamed it for us. Um, and if not, then nicknames. So the nickname rule is going to be optional per se in this. Um, I nickname my Score Bunny Trade. So. I nicked out my Pyro, actually, but I like trade. That is a very, like, it just makes sense. <laughs> like, you are nothing but, like, trade fodder for us at this point. Exactly. You know, the, but, like, the biggest reason that I pick Score Bunny is just to watch Sobble at the and end. Cry. It just, it's just, it's like one of those, like, if I ever want to feel sad, I pick Score Bunny at the beginning of this game just so I can see Sobble and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> Um, like for real though, it was so sad the first time I saw it. I was like, why you got to do me like, oh that? yeah, I know. Pokemon just played with our heartstrings here. All right. We're back real quick. Just to explain what we did. We both got to the point where we are actually able to surprise trade in order to just cut out all the unnecessary tutorial stuff. Both of us have three Pokemon cause we caught our two encounters. Cause you guys don't need to see that. It, it is what it is. We both, I got a Yamper, a uh, Caterpie, and my starter. What did you get? Uh, I got my starter, I got Yamper, and I got a Rookity. And I started with Score Bunny, so in case so there that you go. Now we're, makes it in. <laughs> exactly. We're both trading our starter Score Bunnies. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to hit accept it. All right, I'm doing it. Let's go. Ah! 
All right, I'm sending Pyro to Weirdo. Oh, I didn't even see what his name was. I got a Morlow. I got a Morlow. Ooh, I got a Manelish. I got a Morlow. <laughs> Yo, that's not bad. Shinodic's Don't sleep not on it. bad, but like... Shinodic's not mm. bad. I get it, though. That is your starter. I got a Vanellite, though. Oh, that's not too bad, either. I'm going to start my next surprise trade, and then I'm going to look at my Pokemon. Just so that this can get going. Yeah, I need to go back to the Pokemon Center. I was going to go and run and change some clothes, buy some berries, you know. Make my way downtown. Oh, yeah. I got to go to the Pokemon Center and check them out. I started my next surprise trade, though, so that's going to be... It's level... It's level 60. Oh, you're going to have to trade that <laughs> That means again. I need to trade it again. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Okay, well, I guess we're oh, going to go and trade it again. Level 60. Oh, man, no, All like, right, level well, 60. I've got my my Morlul's a Breject. It's level one. Is that... Mine's a Breject, Is special too. defense up oh, or down? Oh, it's got Sheer Cold. I've got Absorb and Astonish the Calm Nature. Does that mean my attack's up or down? My special... Uh, your attack is down. You know what? Your special defense I'm is I'm okay up. with that. If I'm not mistaken, Shinodic is more of a special attacker. My special defense is oh, up. Yeah. That's not bad. Effect Spore ability. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now I'm just waiting for my Dude, next I have Pokemon. One. I had one in my uh, in my one playthrough of it and actually did really good. Did it? At least for a little bit. Like, it's not... It's not like... Uh, like, like it's not an amazing Pokemon, but it's... Oh, I had an error. It's not an amazing oh. Pokemon, but it's definitely not something to, like, sleep on either. All right. All right. Well, I'm going like, to see. Now I'm trading it, it Caterpie. It work. So. I'm trading Caterpie right, well, now. I'm so trying to I... get to my actual... Apparently, oh. I'm going to be running a Mono Fairy team. Oh, wait. This is the second form, right? Hatchrim's the second form. This thing's for sure not level. Yeah, it's for sure over leveled. Yeah, it's for sure not under level 20. Keep in mind... The highest gym leader, uh, sorry, the first gym leader is level 20, so the highest level it could be is level 20. Anything above level 20, we do have to retrade. This is level 35, so we're going to retrade it. Um, either way, like, the first gym that's actually above level 35 is what? Maybe the sixth gym? Actually, I have the I have the gym leaders pulled yeah. up. Let me check it out. Um, it definitely takes a little bit. It would be gym four. Yeah, so I mean that's not a horrible amount of time, but it's definitely like not great, not really worth hanging on to. So I got a pump kaboo. Oh, the pump kaboo's evolving. It's a trade evolution. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a trade evolution. That's crazy. That's amazing. I always love seeing those. <laughs> it's totally gonna be over leveled. I'm if calling this it now. isn't over leveled, this is gonna be so good. I've get a fully evol evolved Pokemon this early. Oh, absolutely. That's cracked. Um, also, I have a feeling here. I think whenever you're in like a shop or a sale or something like that, you can't get your trade. Oh, really? That's weird. I think so. Cause it's taken like forever for me. So I'm currently starting the surprise trade for my Yamper. However, I did notice that my Pumpkaboo was level one. Are you kidding my me? You get to start off with a full butt Pumpkaboo? <laughs> I get a Gorgeist. My Gorgeist is level one. That is crazy. Yo, I just got a score money. No <laughs> this I is, got my score money. This is definitely a reject. If this is Libero, I'm going to be pissed. Oh, Yo, his name's his name's Flambino. Yo, he's Libero. It's he down in it's down in attack, up in defense. Oh, that is sad. Ooh, Razor I, I'm gonna Leaf. I'm another surprise trade, and then I'm going to go and check. Razor Leaf Shadow oh, Sneak and Astonish. Out. So it's level one. Ooh, so it is up an attack. It's a lonely nature. So minus defense, up What's an attack. What's its ability? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. No, oh, come on. It's Blaze. Oh, it's Blaze. It's Blaze. It's Blaze. Thank God. If but... you got Libero, I was screwed. Dude, I mean, there's no chance that somebody would like... I mean, I guess it could still be a breed check, but that's a really good breed check regardless. Oh my gosh! Could Was you imagine that? One? That that would have been my starter. But wait, that's my starter. I traded my starter, it's... and I ended up getting a score, buddy. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's hilarious. 
<laughs> oh my god, I just got this a This is woo. cracked. Also, my thing likes to crash every time I try and send it. So now we're going to try it again. And it does work, right? I just got a Wooloo. Wooloo! <laughs> no Woo for Yo, Wooloo. I love no Wooloo. Woo. Though. Yo. Yo, don't sleep on Wooloo. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's level three. It's the first route Wooloo. <laughs> it is. It is. Yo, double though. Yo, it is a tank. <laughs> like, it yeah, is but a it's straight not even, up tank. It's not even a breedject. It's just Wooloo. Oh, yeah, it's a straight up, like, route two, like route one Wooloo. <laughs> <coughs> it's, it's down in attack. I mean, it, it, it could be down in defense. It's down maybe. In I attack. mean, you you can run it as a, a special attacker. And I don't know if it gets any special moves, but that sucks. Oh, though. all that of mine are English though, so I can, I should be able to nickname them. Oh, that's true. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of I kind of frick with Flambino though. That's actually a really cool nickname. Is that oh my god. already? Oh, it's Dude, French. Dude, the move relearner? Oh, Flamino's oh, probably... Gorgeist? Yeah, it's probably Score Bunny. On Gorgeist, I can relearn Moonblast. It's a Yo, level it, one move uh, for Gorgeist, so I have Moonblast <sighs> moon now on my Gorgeist. Well, at least I know it's coming into the first cage match. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Let's let's see what else I can get. I mean, oh, never mind, never mind. You won't you won't do that though, because I have I'll have a reboot by then. Oh my god, dude! I've got two grass types yeah. and a normal type. You're gonna have a double kick too. <laughs> I'm screwed oh, right yeah. now. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yo, why is this taking forever? Oh, I was gonna say it disappeared. I was like, stop it. Oh, I can't. This person nicknamed their Wooloo, so I can't re I can't change it. So wow, my Wooloo is named Wooly. 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 It's Wooly the Wooloo. Wooly. Yeah, I like that though. <sighs> so my Gorgeist, I can nickname though. I'm gonna name it Pumpkin Pie. I like that. That's a good nickname right there. I ran out of spaces though, so pumpkin pie is <sighs> it's just with an I. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pee. Uh my Morlo I can nickname too, and I'm just gonna name it Y question mark exclamation point question mark exclamation point. I love how this is gonna be like an hour and a half episode of like twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes. <laughs> Dude, my trades are taking freaking forever. Maybe you're right. Maybe they don't work when you're in a Pokemon Center. Well, it's not the Pokemon Center. It's whenever you're in. All right, cool. So we can, we can get my trade here. I'm going. Oh, I'm not going to be able to nickname it. But oh, yeah, no, I think it's whenever you're in. Yeah. Oh, I said All Japanese. Right. I have really no clue. Ooh, what is it? All right. The screen cap froze. I could frick it's with... It's a Snover. Uh, no. Snover. Your team is super effective against mine. S snover. <laughs> um, let's see this. All right, so now we have to trade Trade Pup. But yeah, I think whenever you're like in... So like if I were talking to somebody, or like if I'm in a shop or something like that, like buying stuff, like physically like in conversation, I think it like won't work for some reason. But maybe I'm wrong. But. Oh, nope. Hang on. We got a switch. All right. So we're just going to put our little Flambino there. It's level 60. It's level 60. Thank I guess this was. God. I guess this was only like the nature of the series. Like it was bound to happen like a hundred times. Yo, it's got yeah. ingrain, wood hammer, blizzard, and sheer cold. 
Wow. I do frick with it, though. <laughs> Could you imagine bringing Sheer Cold to the first cage match? Oh, no thank you. I no so. thank you. We finally got our encounter. Let's see if we can actually keep it this time. Uh, goodbye, this lover. What do we got? Oh, that's Yo, definitely a breed Yo, jack. please. That's please, yes, totally a breed jack. <laughs> that is totally oh, a breed jack. Yo, look at that little so face, good. dude. That I feel is like Drover so just communicates good. in like meeps. Just absolutely. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. So let's set up another surprise trade now that we finally hopefully got one. Oh, it's level 11. So it's actually just from oh, the first area, works. like the first mine. It does work. Yeah, that's All right. So it's from the first thank mine, you, Estian Danny. What do we got here? Neutral nature with sand rush. I can live with that. Ooh, I can live that's with that. huge because with dynamaxing and stuff, are we dynamaxing in the cage matches? Do we want to allow it? I, I don't mean, care. For three it's up Pokemon, to you. you could sweep with a Dynamax. You can. But I do like. I do think that Dynamax is a huge feature of. The, do we want to just allow? Yeah, that's so tough. That's so tough. Because part of me wants to be like, I love the like concept of just being able to utilize Dynamax. But I mean, dude, you could straight up Dynamax sweep somebody turn one. I mean. You guys can let us know. Why we'll, should we'll, 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 yeah, we'll put say, question. Why, why we'll, should we decide? We'll answer later. Let us know in the comment section if you think we should use Dynamax or not. If it's a yes, let us say yes. If no, say no. Let us know. If you think we should only use it in the final fight and not in the cage matches, you could say that too. Let us know what you think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think that's a great idea. Why, why should we decide when we have all these lovely people here that can decide for us? Yeah. Exactly. Yo, your team is looking diverse. You've got a freaking score bunny and a drillber. Yeah, honestly, that's a good that's a good starting. Let's see what our third one is here. We we got it. That was actually really quick. Bye, trade pup. Please suck. Please right. suck, trade pup. <laughs> what is that? I can't tell. It's a blast. <laughs> Okay, that's not level one. Pokey Gems, no it's chance. shiny. It's a shiny blast. It's level 100. It's Pokey, it's, I guarantee it. Oh my this, god. This is what I was talking about. This is one that like we could not use. <laughs> so but this it, right here, well, let me show you. But this. then again, it is it is a shiny. We did say shiny claws. It's a shiny Gigantamax. Holding with a, a master, master ball. ball. <laughs> so can I just take but you'll the master never... ball? You can take the Master Ball, I'm fine with that. But you might as really? well trade I was that kidding. because. Oh, you can take it if you want, I don't care. There's no chance you could actually keep this because you'll never be able to use it. Oh no, it's level 100. There's no chance. Exactly. But I mean, if I can take the Master Ball, I might yeah, go just ahead. have to take the Master Ball. I mean, it's go not like it's going to help me in this series. Exactly. It's not like it's going to help wonder me in this trade series. it anyways. It just gives you a guaranteed encounter. So if you're stuck, I think you definitely earn the Master Ball from that trade. Just like keeping that Mon literally does nothing for you. Even though it's a shiny, guys, it's because it's level 100. It's over the level cap, so it can't be used. And it's over the level cap yeah. across anything. <laughs> the entire game. I mean, we could, we could play post-game with DLCs and we still like would not be able to actually use this thing. Exactly. You did, yeah. All right, so let's see what our last trade encounter is. Hopefully this time. Bye-bye, shiny Gigantamax Blastoise. Imagine you get Trevenant. I have Gorgeist and you get Trevenant. Yo, I would love Trevenant. A Bomb of Snow. Oh, Bomb of Snow. That's not going to be level one. No, heck no. Blizzard oil. Champion Cup, that's what it's called. Uh, 49, 49, 53... 53, 54, 55. The highest level is 65 versus Leon. Okay, so yeah, but the, you have like some stuff that goes on between those. Though. Yeah, between the four, between the last elite four member and Leon, there is the entire macrocosmo stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, 
Alright, well, I got a Choodle, so I'm pretty sure that that is... Let's see what level it is. It's level, level seven, 7, so yeah, that is my... Alright, so I got a Score Bunny, a Drillbur, and a Choodle. Perfect. Well, either way, guys, we're going to wrap up this first episode here. Uh, both of us are going to take the time um, off cam to grind up our team to level 10. Uh, you already have one level 11, so obviously the other two you can just grind up to level 10. Uh, but the level 11, try to keep it around there. I mean, even mine, yeah. I, I'll probably it doesn't box really it matter. Now just so it doesn't get any more experience. Even if it's a little bit over level 10, it doesn't really matter. It's a cage lock. It doesn't, it realistically doesn't matter. Um, just grind it. Like one of yeah. my Pokemon, I have two, I have one level 9 and two level 8s. One's going to get to level 10 before the other one does, and I'm probably going to end up with a level 11 anyway, so... But either way, guys, we're going to wrap this one up here in the next episode, which is going to be on Monday on my channel, episode number two. Um, we will go into the wild area, get some more encounters, wonder trade those off, and also just get going with the story. This was episode one on both of our channels, just to introduce you guys to the series. But yeah, uh, Roki, any final words? Nah, dude, I'm excited for this series. I hope that you guys are as well. We've been planning this for quite a while now and finally got it up and going. So I'm pumped for it. I'm excited to see some encounters. This has been in the works for like two to three months. Yeah. Yeah, so we're but here. Yeah. We hope you guys are as excited as we are. We hope you're excited. We hope you guys enjoy this episode. And we hope you guys enjoy the, the next couple too. Make sure to be subscribed to the both of us because Mondays and Thursdays, my channel... Tuesdays and Fridays over on Rokies. Make sure to be subscribed to us both. That's going to be for this one, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And as always, stay salty.